guy's been f***ing yellow for sure. Yo, there's some, did you check the freezer? Did you get some meats? I was, I was hoping there was not uh, a dead body in there. Is there a dead body in there? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, god. god. shut up! Did you see what's in there? Another Google Squad episode. We are. Where are we going? Man, we're going to a lake down in South Texas. This might as well be another state away. Five and a half hour drive south of San Antonio. It's a place called Choke Canyon. It's out in the desert. It's full of alligators, rattlesnakes, and big bass. Oh. That's it. That's the plan. And That's we're it. hopefully going to be catching some. We're talking pre spawn. Get, get close to the yeah. spawn area. This, That's is, the plan. this is south. This is almost like going to Florida. You know, oh, so it's okay. on that same kind of yeah, yeah, collateral yeah. triangle situation. Find Big Mama, yes. Big Sheila. So Big we just, uh, well, I just flew in to Dallas, but we're headed. You said six hours. About six hours. Six hours drive, yeah. south. Apparently, this place is in the middle of nowhere. So we loaded up the groceries at Bucky's. Um, I feel like we're like going on like a survival trip. The amount of food we were buying for just a couple days of fishing, but. We're out here. We got Norm. You excited? What's up, guys? I'm pumped. You feeling it? I'm ready. Big bass will be caught this trip. I got a good feeling. I haven't caught a bass in 2022 yet, so <laughs> this, should That's good. this should be fun for me. Uh, go, I'm excited. Yeah. This is my first fishing trip back from a break, so hopefully hang out with some good pals and catch some big fish. You guys stay tuned. It's a long trek. We've got uh, about five and a half hours. It's 355 miles. We're going through three major cities in Texas, Fort Worth, Austin, and San Antonio. And past that, that's literally old Mexico down there. So a lot of cactus, a lot of mesquite trees, tons of white-tailed deer, and uh, that's about it. There's just this one lake that's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and that's where we're going. Folks, if you're ever traveling on 35 and you see a sign, exit 353 right for the check stop, you need to pull in. The check stop is a famous place where everyone traveling down 35, anybody who's anybody, who's anybody, stops here, gets a kolache, comes in here, uses the tiny little bathroom, and just kind of resets for the trip. It's a good place to get fueled up and get some delicious handcrafted treats uh, from the Czech bakery. And that's what we're about to do. My One of my favorite breakfast foods on a fishing trip is warmed up kolaches. So we're gonna get some kolaches in here. Norm apparently hasn't ever had a kolache. I've never had a kolache, uh, never heard of kolache. I thought you were saying polachi the whole no, time. No, Flair hasn't either. I'm just, I'm, I'm shocked by this. And here in Texas, uh, we've got a uh, we've got a nice uh, a Czech culture, German and Czech culture here that uh, the food just lives on. It's a beautiful melting pot. And um, anyway, we're gonna go enjoy some of this stuff and get some more treats in addition to all the stuff we bought this morning. We're gonna eat good and fish good. So this video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys don't know what's in this, let me just do this for you. Yeah. It's full of good stuff, okay? It's like Christmas every month, right? Isn't exactly. that what you say when you get yours? That's what I say every time. Every single time. It's like Christmas and whatever month that it's in. But this thing is gonna be filled with different fishing lures. You have the availability to select from a number of different boxes. Check that out. Get some lures sent to your house every single month. today we have pepperoni this is basically a pepperoni pizza inside of a dinner roll um flair yeah well yeah what 
Why don't you guys... These are called kolaches, right? Kolaches. How do you go about eating these? This. Oh, okay. Let's What's see. the temperature? Cold. They're cold? Probably 62 uh, degrees. We should have heated it low. But they're still good cold. Pepperoni, cheese. Just get it's after like it. It's like a bougie hot pocket almost. Ultra bougie hot pocket. Mm. How good though. Just think about that in a duck blind. Oh god. Cold morning. Come on. It's like a calzone, kind of. Yeah. It's got a lot of pepperoni in it. That's pretty good. Bread quality. But some, but bread quality's better. It's than awesome. a calzone. It's like softer. Do you get you get one with sauerkraut sometimes? So yeah, I got a Reuben on sauerkraut, a couple kolaches, and I get a double stuffed cookie. Where's that at? <laughs> I got one in there. That's for when I catch my ten pounds. Oh, celebratory so. cookie. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm pretty impressed with it. You guys weren't you guys weren't lying when you said it's fire. No, it's fire. There yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at the cinnamon rolls. Those are about a pound a piece. We should put them on a Google scale. Oh, yeah. Let's <laughs> see. They're dense. You got a Google scale? Yeah. You want to weigh it? I want to weigh it right now. All right, you ready? Locked on? PB Sandman? Pounds and ounces? Oh, we're putting the whole thing in here? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just a bag. What we got? Here we got three pounds even. <laughs> three pounds. Wow. Six That's a scoreable rolls. bass right there. That is scoreable. Is there eight or six of them in there? Six. Six. Half pound <laughs> per roll. A half a pound. Think about that. Yeah, think about that. That is dense. In That's your dense body. Bread. Mysteriously go missing. They'll be like with people too. All right, good talk. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> I didn't sleep last night. I got stuck in traffic, so I haven't slept in like 36 or 38 hours. So I'm gonna get a couple hours in before we get our dangle on. Sorry to leave you talking by yourself, Ackley. No, no, I know you're good. gonna miss me. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you your history lesson later. Or it's coming. Sweet. You know, I actually really enjoyed learning. I feel like I've learned a lot of things while we've been in the car. Like, probably more than my whole entire high school career. <laughs> and then I dropped out of college, so. I'm just throwing out the facts, the important stuff you need to know. The Alamo, Comancheria, all these important Texas facts. All right, well, wake me up if we pass, uh, any cactuses? I've never seen one in person before. Oh, you're about to. About um, 30 minutes, nothing but cactus. Alright, sweet. <laughs> Take a 10 minute nap. Buckle up, we're heading into bass country. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the Airbnb out in, I feel like we're in Mexico. Well, it looks like the desert out here. There's lots of like cacti. Um, I hadn't seen any water yet, so I know I heard the lakes nearby, but I haven't seen any yet. Supposedly, there's a pond on the property, which got me all sorts of excited. Uh, so we're gonna have to go find that. Google Maps shows no pond, so we might have to do some drone investigating, possibly. Um, but it looks like Rackley and Norm just showed up. You what? We don't know how to get in. Oh, do we? Do you know how you guys, how we got into the gate? By the way, no. So it was locked with a chain and a key. No instructions. Cam starts walking around, picks up a rock and shakes it. And there's a key in it. Really? How he found it, no one knows. It was like in a rock pile. He has the gift. I was just like, he says it was shining in the sun. I'm over here, like you know, yeah, looking yeah. under under pavers. He's just like. Look, see his rocks a little different. Shake, shake. That's not a good jingle, sign jingle. for the actual house. Yeah, it was a scavenger hunt. It's like Easter egg hunt. We found that we found the first key. We gotta go find the second to get inside. Your trick worked again. Wait, another <laughs> did you find another rock? You found another rock. <laughs> found another rock. No <laughs> way. That's yes. the key. You're kidding me. Big rock guys out here, I guess. Okay. Hey, Brian, as you walk in, cricket holders with poles, baby. That's what I like. And to they're see. gonna say there's no fish in those ponds. Yeah, they're lying. Look at these white tail bugs. Ten percent is too good. What do they have to eat? They eat cactus. They eat cactus actually. Really? Movies. Jurassic Park. Oh. Recall. Dude, we should definitely watch Terminator, movies tonight. Castaway. Dude, you guys are so young, you probably don't even know how to operate these things. But this is cool. Well, I grew up with VHS. You, you put in the little rewinder when I was like five. Yeah. Well, I was a little worried because on yeah. the way over here. No, I know. I know. I'm, I know my way around VHS. To know about Really? I mean, I feel like we just hopped in like a little time warp here. <laughs> this is, this well, is interesting. Yeah, you know how to work these things. You're a big farm guy. 
A Jeep we're missing, we're missing keys. Dude, imagine, yeah, dude, I would have a rip on these. That'd be awesome. No keys, though. <sighs> yeah, these guys are deer killers for sure. Deer killers? Did you check the freezer? You got some meats? I was, I was hoping there was not uh, a dead body in there. Is there a dead body in there? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> shut up! Did you see what's in there? Look at that! For a second there, Dude, there's a moving way. blanket, just a moving blanket that's over the top what of you, all I of saw, it. Open it up. It's just a moving blanket. Oh, open oh, it up. Is there a deer in there? Oh, they, wow, they're bringing it back. The 80s, uh... I can't believe they would let people stay in this. It's like... There's gu Kendrick, there's guns in this cabinet. Like, how would they let people just stay here? No, there's not. Yeah, 100%. That's a gun. Look, cabinet. there's guns in there. Ammunition. <laughs> why, would, why would they let, like, oh, are, these, are they BB guns? These are BB guns. What about, oh, what about yeah. this? Oh, we're definitely having a contest with these that's things. That's original. There. Yeah, they that's are a, BB that's guns. That's the old Daisy. That's original Daisy from the 80s. Back in the 70s, maybe. Wow. Dang. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they got, they have a lot of a lot of trust in us. Like, hey, John, John's not here, so be John right. is not John here. John B's not here. No one's getting shot tonight with a pellet gun. Oh yeah, you, these guys. You guys got that. These guys. Yeah, we should definitely come out here during deer season if they let people shoot deer out here. Hey man, can I shoot a deer? I'll put it in your Just cooler for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and wrap it up in the cooler. Welcome back to another morning here at a, a Guggen Squad video. Uh, we got reels or rods with no reels on them sitting over here in the corner. Um, that's somebody's. And then me and Matt stayed up for hours rigging tackle last night. So half the squad is ready. The other half is not so much. So we're trying to get them in gear this morning. Get out on the lake. Because any cast out here could be. 10 pound bass. You know what I mean? One of those kind of things. You never know what could happen. I don't even have a net on the boat. It makes for a more exciting adventure. Somebody, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, if there's a double digit caught in my boat, it's gonna get. It's Just gonna imagine. Get it's gonna be a rodeo. Imagine if one gets off by the boat. You're like, oh, if I only had a net. Yeah. Real man grabbed it with his hand. Well, there's some footage of you not grabbing it with your hand <laughs> at a needed time. Really? Yeah, it's out there. Just say, I don't believe you. <laughs> Roll it. It's right where I had that top water blow up earlier. There we go, I got the leader. He's right here. He's down, he's down there. Come here. Look at that face. Oh, no! Oh! Are you serious? You grabbed the line? Matt, that is a game time error on you. And you have a hook in your hand now. That's Rainbow, Alabama. Who said let's turn on Forrest Gump? That was definitely Norm. Yeah. Got some rods over there on the wall if you want. Oh, sweet, <laughs> yeah, I got a couple. You brought more of me, so that's good. <laughs> a couple of reels. Can you go for that? We're officially on the water. This lake is about 15, 20 feet down right now, but it looks good. There's grass around the shorelines. This lake is full of birds. Uh, there's tons of wildlife around the edges, including large alligators. Yeah, it's 
got a lot of fish in it. We're, we're going to have to battle the wind today, so we're going to have to deal with that, but there's the chance we could get the mongoose. So, let's see if we can get after them. I haven't been on this lake in about a year, but what I know about it is um, there's a lot of grass, so you always have to kind of weed through, literally weed through these areas that are like super thick with grass and then the stuff that's more patchy, like you get some uh, some individual clumps and some some grass that's kind of broken down, these birds will kind of filter through it and whatnot. It seems like that's where I usually find fish. It gives the bait like some places to hide, but it's not super thick where the bass can't really see the bait. Little ambush areas. So everything we're seeing right now is fantastic. Water temperature is 56. We've got that good grass I was just talking about. Um, the bait. Uh, you can see on the graph is in and amongst the, the grass and we've seen individual fish that they look like bass that are hanging around the shad. There's one right there right now. See that? You see that bass just hanging behind the shad there. So it's all it's all looking fantastic. It's a good pre-spawn eating hey, temperature. What's up, Kendrick? You got there? Yeah. yeah. Some major boat issues over here. Come on now. Maybe give her some more squeeze. Yeah, let me squeeze her again. Oh yeah, she's empty. She sucked it up. Hang on. Damn, she got hard there for a second. Yeah, it's pumping now. Go ahead. Really? Oh, all right. I'm gonna call him back. So you got a leak, so you got a hose leak. Yeah, right at the connection of where it's connected to the fuel filter. All right, I got some Alabama chrome in the truck. We can probably get after it. Dang it. Yeah, you kind of need gas for your boat to go. Kind of right. gas got guts to hit Sucks. the engine we somehow. We just came up into our first great looking little paquito. Yeah. But you gotta, you gotta help a friend, you know? I, I usually go by like the five cast rule after you get that call. It's like, yep. <laughs> I'll get five more casts before I just rip over there. So that's my first one. We get four more. I'm sorry, Matt. I just need to keep fishing for a second. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. How's you feeling? Oh, it's a good one. Not a bad one. Oh, just hammered it. Holy cow. Already, dude. Yeah. Let's go. Let's freaking go. <laughs> I believe in you. I'm not going to net it. I want to see this boat flip right now. Yeah, baby. Yes, sir. Good one. Good, solid fish. Start the trip. Smoke that saucy. Smokes. I think that was my fifth cast. It was. That was number five. Yeah, we were number one five. cast away from breaking the rule. Well, thank goodness. Just, just smacked it and that was up there in the shallows. Look at that chunk. Pre-spawn feeders, baby. Oh yeah, I get a little in the stash. Comb my stash with those bass teeth. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, nice little, probably about a four pounder. Start the trip. Always good. Catch you later. Boom! All right, now we gotta go help a friend in need. Then we gotta come back to this stuff. We've got like a 400 yard stretch of this beautiful grass mixture. It's looking promising. Not a bad fifth cast if you ask me. Dude, that's got me hyped for the rest of this trip already. Oh, yeah. First five minutes of four pounder. Golly. Sheee! Good one. Oh, no, no, he's on, he's on, he's on. You really got it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You really got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, we don't have a net. Oh, we don't have a net. All right. All right, let's go. 
Look at that. Look at <laughs> We don't even need a motor. What do you need a motor for? You need no motor. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. We'll just stay here. We'll just hang out here. We don't. We don't need a motor. We just wow. drifted from the boat ramp and boom. A little two pounder. Sheesh. All right. Well, that was surprising. I'll be honest. I didn't expect to catch much here. There's this little grass wall in front of us. He was on this side of it, wasn't he? He was like right on, on the edge. Right on the edge, yeah. They may be having all the bait fish pushed up against that grass. They might just be cruising the edges and feasting. Nice. Got one for real. Oh, he came off. No, he's back on. What? Dude, they keep coming and running at me. Another fish. The old spinner bait. Look at this one. <laughs> Dude, they're coming, they're, they're hitting like a ball of bait. Yeah, they're, they're hitting it and they're running up. straight at me. Yeah, they're blowing it up. Look at that. Sheesh. You, you mean to get your I might need to get the old spinner on. I might. They're, I mean, them chasing like that, they're blowing it oh, like, yeah. like a ball of 100%. bait. Love it. Look at that. Jeez. Two fish. Yeah, I better, I better get the old switch on. 20 minutes. Um, well, I found the boys for you. I've done my official, what do you call it, uh, dangler etiquette duties. Yep. Uh, we showed up, we were here yeah. for them. They didn't really need us, but. We escorted them the, the help. Um, we got a buddy with us, Chuck. He, he works with uh, Skeeter. So he knows, he knows the veins of the, the situation, like the back of his hand. So he's gonna get in there. He's in, they're in good hands, is my point. Now me and Norm, and just go fish, you know. Yep. Just try to catch one of these hog jammers. But they said they caught two or three fish, something like that, like while they were just dangling around, waiting for us. That's a good sign uh, on, a, on a spitter bait. So I think we'll just uh, just continue from right here. Just work our way back around a few hundred yards where we started and keep going from there. It's a nice little windy bank with some grass on it. Feels good for a for a lipless too. You know what I mean? That's exactly what I'm like thinking, just man. Just kind of ripping through this stuff. So many options <laughs> of what to throw. I know this has got to get you excited. This shallow grass. Yeah, this is my game. comfort zone the, yeah. for sure. I was afraid we we're gonna be out in like 30 foot of water. I couldn't even uh, tell you how to work that live scope. Well, but um, this is my element right here. This reminds me of my home lake. So I don't know. It's gonna be a good day, man. First 30 minutes, everybody's got something, or every boat has got something. Shaping up to be a up. one heck of a week. Yeah, that's the best of sound. It's working now. <laughs> he actually freaking did it. Oh, it's it might be a broken shaft on that one. Yeah. Oh, no. Holy sh**. They're just not having a day over they there. They're so not far. having a day. <laughs> Absolute Guggen morning. Is this? Oh, they're all the way forward. There you go. <laughs> it's a day today. It is a day today. <laughs> day. <laughs> is this recording? Shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's your waterproof rain jacket. Hey guys, just a quick promo. Scoogan squad jacket is in fact waterproof. <laughs> so, why are we getting wet? Why are we, why are we getting wet right now? I don't know. We saw them idling. We're like, okay, they're probably just idling over. <laughs> it just took off to get on plane. The trolling motor was still down. So water pushing up against it just had it maybe snap. I don't even know, but. Yeah, that was hysterical. <laughs> That's something I would do. I didn't expect it out of Kendrick. Oh man, not having a morning. <laughs> At least they've caught some fish though. There they go, now they're good. They're good now. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, got him. There you go, there you go. Nice. First cast with a swim jig. Wow, that was cool. It's easy. Yeah, just picked up the swim jig out of curiosity. He just nose jammed it. 
that's the grass hero. My first cast with a, dare I say, a prototype plastic trailer. Lovely. fish are. A little male bass probably coming up. Yeah. Look at that. Just gotta go find that windblown point. Gotta go find it. Sheesh. There he is. Spinnerbait lord over here. Well, we've, I'll be honest, we haven't been crushing it. But, that's third fish for you. Zero, zero fish for me. But what we did was we made a move, a pretty long run, to kind of a main lake point, which Rackley had mentioned. Um, and the wind is also blowing into here. Uh, we actually got out of the wind because as a fisherman, wind's not enjoyable, but it seems right now the fish are, they like, are the they like the wind. I think it's blowing up the, it blows up all the little plankton and then the bait fish follow and then the big fish follow. So, and you're throwing a spinner, which looks like a ball of bait fish. So I think we're, we're starting to develop a pattern out here. Um, unfortunately, they're not, today, they're not quite pushed up, you know, where they're actually on beds where you're flipping and stuff like that. Um, but right now, it seems like they're kind of staged up, getting ready for it. They're feasting before the spawn, which is, in my opinion, just as good. Well, you know, it's kind of mid-morning right now. I think we're going to stop it right here and switch gears a little bit and do some other exploring. We've, uh, we've wet our beaks, so to speak, in the lake. And, you know, pre-spawn, we found them up there in the dirt. Uh, we just met up with Matt and Flair. They said they caught some fish up there in the shallows as well. So just kind of comparing notes. So I think we're just gonna continue on that and uh, kind of go up in the river for the next part of the day. So you guys are gonna need to stay tuned for that. Yeah, that was cool, dude. I was I was glad I could sit here and watch you catch all the fish. But, um, know. you know, you I, had, did, you had I did have my one bite. It may be one more, but, uh. We know where they are now. We got a few days out here, yep. tons of videos to film, so I'm pumped. I think there's gonna be even bigger fish caught in the next so. few days. It's shaping up to be good, so. I think so, for sure. And we got we got a lot more to explore, so stay tuned for it. And uh, you know what to do, subscribe here to the channel. We'll see you on another Guggen Squad episode next time.